Dakota. I am currently a gold premier leader at Perfectly Posh, and I've got some of my teammates here and some other Posh consultants, and um, you'll hear from a couple of them probably too. We are going to talk about consistency tonight, and it's something that just gets mentioned all the time. Um, oh, you've got to be consistency. The key is consistency, and um, it's just something that gets thrown around, but let's just talk quickly about why? Like, why does that matter? What is, why? I mean, it's kind of obvious, like, oh, really being consistent, I'll do better in my business. But it really does matter because I've been here for five years and there are times where I am on it and I'm using my planner and I've, I've got like systems in place and I am just using the tools that I've found over the years and I have better months. I have more sales, more people join my team. Um, I feel better. I feel in control. I feel less overwhelmed. Like I, when I am consistent and then I, then things happen and I get off track and then I just kind of randomly pop stuff online here and there and I'll check in with someone over here and I feel so scattered. It doesn't feel good. And also, um, I don't have a great month that month if I'm all over the place. And I've gone through these highs and lows and, and staying on track and not over and over again. And we have Elizabeth signs here. <laughs> I had to message her and say, can you send me a voice message and tell me how to say your last name? Um, and she is going to speak to us in a little bit. Um, um, Elizabeth joined, I we can talk November. about her turn. I'll just get my stuff over. Um, but Elizabeth joined several months ago um, and then she was pink for a while and then she really buckled down and used some of these systems I'm gonna talk about and promoted from pink to pink plus three in two months. Um, so she she double promoted in from pink and pink plus one all in one month, pink plus three the following month. And it wasn't right out of the gate for her either. Like it was when she started using the tools that I'm gonna talk about right now. So um, let's, I'm gonna to go to some notes just to keep me on track and keep this time short. Um, so this is something I've said over and over again, and I pulled it here from my notes. It's consistency is key, even if this is just a part-time thing for you. If, if you're here um, as a hobby, but you just wanna get it a little more out of it, if you're here to grow it into something bigger and, and start being a team leader and make more income from Posh, even if it's still on a part-time basis, I say I do Posh full-time. Alyssa says she does Posh full-time, but honestly, like some, sometimes we are working full-time hours, but sometimes it's still kind of part-time hours. It's just our full-time job. She's nodding. Yeah. So consistency is key no matter where you're at in your Posh business. Um, and I just want to say that part-time or even as a hobby, it doesn't mean sometimes. Part-time doesn't mean sometimes. It means doing small, short actions on a consistent basis to keep your business flowing. Um, if you just do this part-time and you're really all in it for like a week and you do a whole bunch of posts and then you don't come back and talk to anybody or post anything for three weeks. That's pot time. I mean, that's part time. What did I just say? That's part time, but it's not consistent. You can do this very much as a hobby or part time in five minutes a day, maybe 10 minutes the next day, maybe once a week or even once or twice a month, do a power hour. And we've got a whole training on how to do, how to like efficiently do a power hour. And you can break that hour down into 15 minute chunks if you want. Uh, but it's, it just means doing small actions consistently, like daily. Mike and I were talking earlier and, um, and Elizabeth too, we have a little group chat and a lot of us have been feeling a little burnt out, like too, it's been too much posh. Uh, we just came off of an incentive period and there was a big push at the end of March to get all that wrapped up. And then we, we had like two days and then we launched all the spring products. And then it was excitement about that and getting those in and learning about those and making posts. And all of us sort of hit a wall, like, oh, I need a day off. Um, and that's fine. Take a day off. That's like, we're all about self-care, but it doesn't mean taking 
two weeks off coming back post like you know I think I've I've beat that into the ground but part-time doesn't mean sometimes um it doesn't mean you have to be doing posh all the time it just means showing up consistently and putting uh systems into place to help you do that um using trackers and writing down numbers and just having some sort of system whether it's a paper binder with some papers in it you do it digitally whatever just to keep you on track and like get you into like, okay, this is my posh time and I'm going to work this as a business. So it pays off like a business. Um, but before I get to the track trackers, I just wanna say um, like more about why consistency matters. It helps you retain customers. There's, there's a, like statistics out there in all business things like, um, like having a repeat customer is so much easier than finding a brand new customer. And yes, we always still need to be finding brand new customers, but especially with this business, repeat customers are our bread and butter. Um, they, they always need refills. There's always new products to try. Once you try a couple of things and fall in love, you want to suddenly have them all. Um, so getting good customers and keeping them is so important. And the good news is your customers want to do business with you. Your current customers that you have, they want to do business with you. They have, you have attracted them in some way. You've provided them something that they find valuable and they, they want to. If they didn't want to do business with you, they'd probably go somewhere else. The bad news is they will go somewhere else if you fail to consistently deliver. If you stop making posts, if you stop checking in with them, if you don't throw them a thank you note every now and then, or even just a quick message, they might think you're not doing posh anymore. And guess what? There are thousands of other people doing posh. So they, if they want some posh, they might just not even think you're selling anymore. I have a lot of customers who's, who have said, oh, I tried this like two years ago, but I think, I think my posh person stopped selling. I'm not really sure. <laughs> They might still be selling, but they found me somehow. Um, so the key to repeat business is consistency in both what you offer and how you deliver it. Um, they'll be loyal to you. They'll return again and again when they have confidence in you and the products, of course. Um, the I got I grabbed some notes from a cool website. It's called Small Business Forum. So I'm, I just copied and pasted. Let the experts speak for me. Um, it says they will come back when they trust they have a consistent experience each and every time they come to you. The strength of customer loyalty is in direct proportion to the confidence they feel regarding how well you'll consistently deliver. So, um, oh, and they go on to say successful companies strive not to just meet but to exceed customers' needs and expectations. And that is what sets us apart. Um, we all sell the same exact products. It's the experience customers have with us, the way we present them, the way that we help them find just the right face wash they need. Um, if they didn't love the smell of their hand cream and like they really don't like that, just go above and beyond. Don't be like, oh, sorry, that stinks. Like, literally, huh, <laughs> scent pun, or oh, sorry, <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll listen in the comments, but didn't, thanks, thanks, um, you know, solve that problem for them, I just had this happen, and it doesn't happen very often, but I did have a customer who up front with me said, like, I have a really hard time with fragrances, and we talked about some things she wanted to try, I sent her some samples, but she bought one product and then I mailed her some samples with it. The product she bought, she didn't like. She did like some of the samples. So I off she used it one time. I offered to buy it back from her if she wanted to pay to ship it back to me. Um, because it's a hand cream. I could sanitize the outside of it. It's not like she stuck her fingers up in there or anything. And I could use it myself or make samples. Like it's it's still sanitary. It's fine. So um she said she was going to see if her friend liked it and sell it to her friend. And if not, she would send it back to me. So it's just like checking in with her, seeing if she liked it, because I knew that she might be iffy. 
sending her a message to check in and doing that consistent follow-up. We always talk about consistent follow-up um, and that's a whole other training, but that's just one way to exceed customers' needs and expectations. Um, putting together a wish list for somebody, like noticing what they're commenting on on your post, what's interesting them and taking notes on that and then sending them samples of those things if they didn't even ask for them, that's going above and beyond. Any, any issue they might have, uh, maybe their product broke in shipping or their box didn't come in time. Like I like to deal with support. Like if it's an issue like that, I like to do it for them whenever possible. Sometimes they have to directly contact support, but you can contact support on the behalf of your customers. So now I'm talking about customer service and not really consistency, but it's all about exceeding a customer's expectations. You create customers who are loyal to you, to you not just posh, but to you. And they'll, they'll be comfortable spending more money with you, trying out new things. Um, and they'll probably help you get more customers by sharing their experience, hosting parties for you. If they're not into hosting, even just sharing with a friend here and there, maybe making a post on their personal page about the posh that they love and tagging you in it. Yes, Lucy said you build trust and, tr and trust is the thing you have to build with people to have them keep buying from you. They, they buy into um, people as much as the products. And I would like to add to that under promise and over deliver. So if I say that like, <laughs> you know, you'll, you'll have this by next fri Friday, I really think it's going to come Wednesday, but I tell them Friday. So if it comes early, like it comes early or, um, when Posh says something's out of stock and they say, I wish Posh would under promise and over deliver us some, um, some more often, but if something says it's, it'll be back in stock the last week of April, and then it's back the second week of May, that makes people angry. So like, just why not just say May, early May, and then it's back in late April and everyone's like, hooray, <laughs> you know, so under promise, over deliver. Um, and consistency takes planning. So we're gonna get into the trackers in a minute and then Elizabeth's gonna share some experience. And if there's time, Mike, Mike's gonna share his experience too. But consistency takes planning. When, without a plan, you get fatigued, you get overwhelmed. So I think it's so important to have a clear vision of what you want to accomplish in a month. Uh, because we all start over at zero every month. You could have longer term goals. You could have short term goals. I always advise make a monthly plan and then break it down week by week. And mid month, which we're at now, you can kind of assess, okay, am I on track? It's the middle of the month. Am I on track to hit my goal by the end of the month? And if you're not, it's okay. It doesn't mean you have to throw your, your goal out the window. It's, it's just like, okay, what do I need to do more of to towards like the last half of my month to get to that goal that I want to have. And your goal doesn't always have to be a PV goal. It could be, I want to get 10 new customers into my group. I want to send samples to five new people this week. Those are also concrete measurable goals. Um, we talk about SMART goals a lot. So SMART is an ac ac acronym. Um, that I don't have in front of me right now, but it's specific, attainable, are, I don't know, like it's, somebody will <laughs> probably figure it out. I, I'm blanking because I this was not in my notes, but uh, measurable, time bound, like a goal isn't just like, oh, I, I, I want to hit pink plus three, like, you know, sometime, whenever, which is a great goal to have, but break it down and make a plan to get there at some point. <laughs> what do you need to do this month to get there? What do you need to get there next year? Thank you, Kelly Bebout. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Yes. Um, so also if you're a brand new protege and you, and you wanna become a premier in your first month, it's most likely not going to happen. So that's where the real, realistic comes in. It's great to set that goal in a few months or a year and, and just adjust. So set your goals and adjust. So, um, <clears throat> okay, quickly trackers. I'm gonna show these real quick. And I hope they're not backwards. And then when this link gets posted in our groups, 
I will, <laughs> I will um, also post the post these so you can all save them and print them out too. So this is the new month checklist. Ignore my nails. Lucy, I still haven't taken off my janky nail polish. New month checklist. And it just has things that we all see. It new, uh, first of the month, there's a lot of info. So it's good to just block off some time, see what's new, um, set your goals, create party links. Uh, there's, there's a checklist and then there's a big space for notes to add in your own stuff. And um, real simple and easy to print out, doesn't take a lot of ink. And then uh, when I talk about making monthly goals, I've created this monthly goal planner. And we've got commission goal, PV, rank, number of new teammates, and other goals. Like I said, I want to make 20 new friends this month and send them samples, you know, other goals. Goals can be anything. Um, and I put commission goal in there because, yes, we do make money doing this. So if setting a PV goal is hard for you and you're not really understanding the pay plan or wanting to know where you want to be, but you know that you want to make $300 this month with Posh, you start with that money goal, the monetary goal, the commission goal, and then break it down from there. And if you need help with that, there's a great tool in the virtual office called the Potentializer. I think Posh uh, made that up, but, um, and you, it's a calculator. You can plug in numbers and see how much money you're going to make. And if you need help with that, ask a, a friend, ask your upline, ask a premier, ask uh, any, like anyone in our group, somebody who seems to know what they're doing with their business. And I'm sure they could help you break down um, how to get your PV goal, rank goal, and all of that from starting with a commission goal. And then we've got weekly checkpoints and it's where you check in once a week on whatever day of the week you want to, whether it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday is a good time to do your checkpoints. And you write down your goals, what you want them to be to add up to your total monthly goal. And then write down your actual PV and team volume. And if you're seeing a discrepancy there, you know you have time to do something to hopefully build it up. Um, who am I working with? This could be team or customers, other notes. And then there's a weekly goal planner also that looks very similar. And here it is here. And the, the top is very much the same as the monthly. But then in here, it's your plan for the week. What are you going to do? Um, social media, parties, samples, power hours focused income producing activities. It just gives you a space to write out a plan um, and other notes and stuff. So these are two trackers to help you. And um, Elizabeth's gonna talk a little bit more about that. I've also quickly got number trackers. Tracking your PV and where you should be in the month. It can be a little anxiety inducing, but it, it can also be very helpful. <laughs> Mike's nodding because <laughs> if you're way off track, you're like, oh crap. <laughs> but you can pivot and, and figure something out. He's nodding very much. Um, so in this column, it's if you it the you just see where it ends. It ends. Um, it's it, it's based off a 28 day month because I didn't want to make a bunch for a whole bunch of months. So 28 days to hit 500 PV. And it even gives you some wiggle room there at the end. It is no fun being like $200 away from a goal on the last day of the month. It's not impossible to get it, but it's stressful. It stinks. <laughs> Thumbs down from Melissa. It is so nice to have your goals. Um, as soon as you turn on our video to say, yes, um, front loading your calendar with parties and any sort of income producing activities is, is huge front loading, meaning putting those events and those actions in the first two weeks of your month. Doesn't mean you can't do a party the last week of the month, but it's just a good practice. If you're starting to get into planning and taking this more seriously to, um, do that. So I've got I've got a 500 on this side, 1,000, and I've got a, a 2,000 and a 3,000. Um, those are all I have made. I don't have them for anything lower than 500 or over 3,000, but that's a good range where a lot of us are at. Um, and then real quick, lastly, um, I'm not gonna go over all of this, but 
when you are consistent in your business, you can hit those, those, those goals, those bigger goals to get bonuses and whatnot. So this sheet here, the fives are fabulous tracker. It's an oldie, but goodie. Haven't seen it in a while. I know Alyssa was a big fan of this back in the day. Um, I've edited it, edited it to add the monthly award criteria and doing these actions here help you get on track to hit monthly award. When you get monthly award, it's a $100 bonus per month. And guess what? When you get a whole bunch of those in a year, it's actually called a consistency bonus. So that's why I thought I'd bring it up. And if you get your consistency bonus, we're talking a couple thousand dollars. It, there's, a whole, there's a lot, and I don't wanna take up all the time talking about it, but I also have an annual award tracker. So quickly before I hand it over to Elizabeth, um, Laura Duncan, typed up something about consistency and using these track trackers and stuff and put it in my team page. So I'm going to read it really quickly um, because you're like, why do I have to write all this stuff down? And she said it so well, and I agree with everything she said, and it's how I feel too, but she is going to read Laura's words because she did so well. She said, I've seen the benefits of writing down my numbers daily, setting specific weekly goals, and assessing my successes and business shortcomings each week forcing myself to talk to at least three people every day in the categories of customer, host, and recruit potential. So this, um, this is part of a challenge that Shalene and you did, the 75-day consistency challenge. And the main criteria daily was to talk to three people every day, somebody who you'd like to be a potential customer or maybe a current customer. Little, it gets tricky after a while. Um, a potential host, a potential recruit. And it doesn't mean you have to speak to them about posh. It's just doing reach outs, some sort of touch, three people a day, send a quick message. Um, and the recruit one gets hard because you're like, I'm running out of people to talk to. So you could make, it also counts as like making a post about what you love about your business or sharing the kit or something like that. Um, so forcing myself to talk to three people every day and daily self-development reading and using a social media consistency calendar. And she said, what are the benefits? This is really long. I don't want to take up a lot of time. Um, she talked about Elizabeth, who is on her team and is here tonight. Also, uh, her teammate Naomi has been doing very well. And they've all been doing these, using these trackers and doing this consistency challenge. Um, Laura used to be with another company. And she's also was with Posh for like a really long time before she saw success in her business. So the benefit she's seen is um, she said, I'm closer than ever to earning incentive trip, which she earned on the last day. And even though I've always worked hard towards earning them in my previous company and with Posh, she always, it was always a goal, but she finally did it because she just put systems in place and stayed consistent. Um, and she works a busy full-time job and she does posh on the side. So um, she talked about everyone rank advancing and um, monthly awards and all of that has made the bigger overall impact of giving me the belief and confidence that our success will just continue to grow steadily as long as we continue to do these things consistently every day, regardless of how hard it feels that day. And she also mentioned um, and it doesn't mean that you can't ever take time off, but I, I had to take a couple days off this week, but I didn't not touch posh at all. I lay on the couch and open up messenger and like read a couple of messages and respond and be like, okay, I'm dead. Like it, it, did, it took five seconds. So um, she read the book Atomic Habits and she, she took something from there, which I am going to end with. It is that Successful people aren't so successful because they're more talented or more skilled, although I'm sure that has a little part to do with it. But the difference really is that they continue to do their work consistently, regardless of other things going on in their life and how they're feeling. They make themselves remain consistent, and that's really the most important thing. As a person who struggled to consistently hit pink plus one every month, I'm now super close to premiere. 
And I can tell you that is so accurate. Give yourself the gift of using these tools and be consistent every day and you will see your business success improve no matter where you're at in your business right now. That was, that was advice from Laura and whoo, yes. Okay. So I'd like to introduce Elizabeth. And um, I mentioned earlier that she, um, she joined in the fall. I can't remember. I don't have this stuff. November. Here. What? It was November. I November. Remember. And yeah. then in January, was that the month you double promoted? No, February was. February. So she was around. She did work towards her props, which I'm, and earned them all. Yep. 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 Um, and, and then now she's pink plus three and she's growing a team. I mean, She'll be premiere before long. Um, she earned the trip, all of it. So take it away, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi, like she said, Elizabeth Signs. Um, yeah, I, I joined in November. I hit all three of my props, but I also wasn't like really consistently working the business. And I have a, Posh is kind of a part of my larger business. And on, in January, I actually made the decision that my word for the year was plan because I'm bad at planning and staying consistent. And like, I wanted to like, just make, start making systems and plans for everything in my business and my life, just in general, just so I could be like really be on top of it. Cause I have a very full life. I have three kids. I have a disabled mom I take care of. Like I do a lot. And um, Shailene had the consistency challenge kind of, she was talking about it a little bit in January and started in February. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit in January and then started in February. And so I decided I was going to do it. And um, even though I'd worked, I actually had worked another direct sales company before Posh and um, knew, and I'd actually gone up to the, the ranks of like kind of being a leader and stuff. I, and I knew, knew things. I always had trouble by staying consistent and doing the challenge, getting those systems and doing these trackers really helped. Um, I mean, I, my, in January, when I talked to Laura, who's, who's my sponsor, I told her, I go, by the end of the year, I want to be being plus three. And then like, that happened really fast. I was like, oh, I guess I have to change my goals now because <laughs> that changed. Um, and, and it really, I mean, there were times that I was like doing a lot each day. And then there were times when I, like I said, we could, we talk about like, we get burnout. We'd have, you know, life happens. Um, in, in the process of this, my father-in-law died, like stuff was going on in my life. So there were times where I was just like, okay, all I have to do are these three things. And the tracker kind of helped me also like wrap my head around it too, in a way of like, where I could be like, oh, I have to work my business. I would kind of have like maybe, you know, grander schemes in my brain or something and get overwhelmed and not do anything. I don't know if you guys ever do that, where you like have such great ideas that they just seem overwhelming and then you don't do anything. It was like having these trackers, like, okay, all I have to do is like these three things on my tracker and be done. And, um, and if that's all I do today, that's all I do today. And it, because of that, it did, it did, I just like, I just watched my business just blow up and grow. And um, I now have a, my first two people joined in January. And I now have a team of nine in my downline. Um, two are level twos and the rest are, are level ones. And um, they're all, I've been trying to bring this to them and the, the, the ones that have been able to really implement this, I'm watching them really grow too. So I know it, it's like, you can, you can, you can do this. <laughs> Anyone can do this. It's, it's very much copyable. That's a word, I don't know. Um, and, um, but yeah, I, I, I just found for me, even having it like written out on paper, like tracking my numbers, it like made it so, and like Kelly was talking about breaking down in chunk, into chunks, it made it so like my, I could almost like wrap my brain around it where if I just have kind of this thing of like, I want to be premier, like it just is like this kind of beautiful idea out there <laughs> floating out there in the, in the ethers where like, it was like, okay, I got to make, you know, 215 PV this week. Like that was something like, okay, I got that. I could figure that how to do that and, and move forward. And, and even just like seeing those goals written down and kind of having it in my head, it wasn't even necessarily like, I'm going to talk to this person and they're going to order. It was just like, okay, I have to like talk to 10 people. I have to talk to, and it, it would just slowly get me moving on, on those um, different goals. And I earned the incentive trip, which I, like I said, is part of another DS company. I've never earned an incentive trip before in my life. 
so excited. <laughs> um, and, and it's on my birthday, so it makes me extra special. <laughs> I get to go be in Jamaica on my birthday. Um, and yeah, and it's not anything like I ever thought I could do. So um, I, I really am a strong believer now in the consistency and the tracking. And um, I even told some of my downline who kind of get overwhelmed by systems. I'm like, just get get up, get your planner, get like a, just a regular old school planner and write down your numbers on the day and talk to one person and write their name down on the day and then keep going. And then like in two weeks, you can just flip back to two weeks before and look at that name and do a follow-up. That's all you have to do. Like if, if you don't do anything else, just do that and your business will grow. So. Um, that's my experience. I hope that was helpful to somebody. <laughs> and um, do we have time for Michael to talk? Yeah, that was amazing. I love that simple, like, okay, because this is this can be overwhelming. I mean, we've got yeah. stuff, but that's a lot. So just baby steps, like that's a great way to begin using yeah. a system and having a plan. Um, so simple. And then you can add on to it. And you were saying like, there are the days, like, I just have to do my three things. I'm sure then most, most of the time you do your three things and then you're like, well, now that I'm here, oh I'll, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll send, I'll write some thank you notes or I'll put on this training while I make samples or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes I'm like, I'll just reach out to these couple of people and be done. And then like, they would come back and have questions and then they would be, you know, oh wait, this person's interested or, you know, I'm kind of like balloon oh, up. Oh crap. <laughs> Oh crap, people want to buy stuff from me. All right. Mike, yeah. we've got three minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, I can do that. The consistency I want to talk about will be numbers because I pulled up all of my numbers January, February, March of 2020 and 2021. So let me open up the program that I put those in. So with consistency, I picked that as my word for the year. And holy crap. <laughs> so 2020 in January, I was at 106 PV. Frontline was 173. In 2021, my January PV was $2,323 with a, oh, wait a second, I'm backwards. Why is that backwards? Hold on. I have this backwards. I was like, that number seemed really high for January. It was. So let me open that real quick. Bookmarks are our best friend. So in January of, let's see, January 2020. I saved those wrong. So 2020, I had 106 and 173 front line. My rank was still pink. I hit pink plus one at November of 19, uh, 20. So it wasn't any big rank advancement until the end of the year last year. And then 2021, I was at 1004 PV with 1099 team volume. So that was a big jump. And I hit my first ever monthly award. And then in February of 2020, with the consistency, this is when the consistency challenge started. And so I started really working on the funnels, the numbers, and my PV in 2020 is 401. And my PV now in 2021 was 2,783. And I rank advanced to PP3. So the consistency is big. And I know it's going to cut off, so I'm going to end it there. I can talk about March numbers later. I can put it in a post of Padawans. And that's what I have. And I'll type up something in a bit and I'll post that. So it will be We readable. are going to post the link to this. So maybe like in the comments, you can finish what you were going to say. <laughs> that is perfect. And I awesome. can do screenshots, so it's easy. Thanks. Yeah, you can share your <laughs> screenshot. That's so easy. Okay, thanks yeah. guys for coming. And if you have questions, just um, ask, ask them in the post when it goes up. Perfect. Bye. Bye.